thank you very warmly for that reception. You know what we have to say once again to the Cleveland baseball fans? Play baseball and start playing in them. It's as simple as that. We've been coming here now for the bigger part of 20 years trying to reason <coughs> with the previous owners of this ball club, trying to reason with the Dolan brothers and the Cleveland fans to retire that racist attire It'll become collector's item someday as an example of how people can change. Change the name of this team. We are a living people. We are not mascots and symbols, racist symbols for America's fun and games. I just had a meeting <coughs> along with Charlene Teeters, James Watson, and Zizway. We just met with Terry Gilbert, the attorney who has been handling our case, where two years ago, Three years ago, two years ago, we torched effigies of Chief Wahoo. The first year it was Juan Reyna, Juanita Helfrey, and myself and many of you were here and witnessed the arrest that was made on the other side of the building, when we hung an effigy of Wahoo in the tree and we torched that symbol of racism. As you recall, a judge threw the case out of court in favor of us. <coughs> And of course, it was during the opening weekend, and we came back out, and right here, we torched another effigy of Wahoo, who is our little red sambal, <coughs> as well an effigy of little black sambal to show how it's one and the same, and to our African brothers and sisters in particular, if you will not wear a symbol of little black Sambo or Aunt Jemima or Rastus on your cap and jackets, why would you in particular want to continue wearing this racist attire and in doing so corrupting the minds of your beautiful children? So in torching the second effigy of Black Sambo and Wahoo, we were arrested again and taken to jail. This time it was James Watson, Zizway, Juan Reyna, Charlene Teeters, and myself. One year later, <coughs> the case went to court we requested a jury trial, and during the course of the prosecutor's case against us, it was clear that the city failed in their efforts to convict us. Had the case gone to the jury, we would have won. But Judge Corrigan, Delivered a dismissal of the charges on 
in favor of the city. We appeal that decision. It went to a three-judge Ohio appeals court, and on a vote of two to one, they agreed with us against Judge Corrigan that we had a First Amendment, <coughs> freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and a Fourth Amendment right to assemble. That was the heart of the case. Judge Corrigan was wrong to dismiss the charges in favor of the city, and the appeals court agreed with us. They have now appealed that decision to the Ohio Supreme Court. On May 26th, at 9 o'clock in the morning, the Supreme Court is going to hear the case. It's really not a big event in terms of time. Terry Gilbert said the city has 15 minutes and our attorneys have 15 minutes. So it's going to be about a 30 minute hearing before the Ohio Supreme Court. He told me it's at the new federal building in Columbus, Ohio. May 26, 9 o'clock in the morning, and those of you that can get there, particularly our brothers and sisters in Ohio, look at those racist wahoos. Hey, racist wahoos. Racist wahoos. <coughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself, you rednecks. If you don't believe you got a redneck, examine one another's necks and you'll see that they're red. Just like swatting mosquitoes, you know, there's too many of them. Can't get them all. At least got to give them a verbal ass kicking if necessary, right? So, Columbus, Ohio, May 26th, before the Ohio Supreme Court. Terry Gilbert said that if the city loses, they will no doubt appeal the case to the U.S. Supreme Court. If we lose, we will appeal it to the U.S. Supreme Court because this is a very <coughs> important freedom of speech case. You know, we got arrested for burning an effigy of racism. Yet, if we chose to, we could burn American flags all day long, and they could not touch us. How ironic. And in America, you can burn an American flag, and it's the First Amendment. It's protected by the First Amendment. But when you burn an effigy of racism, then you go to jail. Now, how's that? Isn't that kind of crazy? But that's the way it is. We all knew it was going to be a long struggle. Now, you would think pretty quick that the Cleveland baseball fans would get the message. I don't know what we're going to have to do. Maybe we're going to have to burn some more Wahoos. Maybe we're going to have to barge into the stadium and disrupt the game. What are we going to do? Now, what are we going to do to make these idiots, particularly the Cleveland fans, play baseball, stop playing Indian? Get that ridiculous attire off of you. That Wahoo is racist to the core. But anyhow, it's really good to be here with you all again. And the great Lord, the great spirit willing, I'll be here again.